Tillamook and Cho Chocolates have come together to make Tillamook Cho Double Dark Chocolate Gelato. So when I saw this in the supermarket, I was surprised because I'm used to seeing the half gallon Tillamook in the aisle and when I go into the pint size I'm used to seeing Haagen-Dazs, Ben & Jerry's, some of these others like that. But on this unusual shopping trip I saw this Cho and Tillamook brand in a pint size. And there's another, a peanut butter one, which I'm going to sample for you a little bit later. Um, but today we're going to try this double dark chocolate one. So I did a little research on this and apparently Cho is the name of the company out of Berkeley, California, and Tillamook's out of Oregon. And the reason it's called Cho, T-C-H-O, is because the founders thought that was quirky and it's the first, it's the pronunciation of the first three letters of chocolate, C-H-O. So I did a little more research um, and tried to understand like what is the difference between gelato and ice cream? And what I found on the internet was that Ice cream has more cream or butter fat, and gelato typically has more milk content, so a little bit less fat. And Italians tend to like the gelato more, Americans eat more of the ice cream. But then I look on the ingredients of each of these, um, and they're pretty close. Like if you look at the ice cream for Haagen Dazs, it's got 13 grams of saturated fat for two thirds of a cup serving. And then this one, the gelato, has 12 grams of saturated fat for two-thirds of a container. So it's almost the same. I'm a little bit surprised, I guess. Um, the first ingredient on here is skim milk, um, whereas for haagen -Dazs it's cream and then skim milk. So those things are kind of switched. So this one has skim milk, sugar, and then cream, and then the cocoa powder. So um, I also looked up, just out of curiosity, how much ice cream do Americans actually eat each year? And it's about 23 pounds a year, which is quite a bit. And I'm sure I contribute that. I'm probably on the higher side of that. Although I don't usually eat like a ton. I just taste a little, move on. But I'm not like pounding half gallons of ice cream or anything like that. But in Italy, they eat about 8.8 .8 pounds. So Americans actually eat about three times as much ice cream as the Italians eat gelato. So enough about the history lesson. Let's get to the good stuff. Let's try the Tillamook Cho double dark chocolate gelato. So I'll take the cap off here. We've got this writing. It says before, sad face, after, flip it upside down, happy face. So let's see if we're happy after we eat some of this Tillamook and Cho double dark chocolate. So let's peel off that lid. Wow, look at that. Let's get a close up there. So this thing is just loaded with chocolate. It's chocolate ice cream. It's got little chunks of chocolate. It's also got like some swirled in bits. I don't know if that's just melted, but this thing's been out of the freezer for maybe 15 minutes um, out of my new freezer there. So we're going to take a scoop of that with my new scooper. And you're just, it's almost like you're scooping into a candy bar or something. There's like a ton of chocolate. I don't know if that goes deep in there or if it's just on the surface level. Looks like most of it was just on the top. So you can see I scooped out all those chunks of chocolate and then right below that I haven't hit any other chocolate yet. So it might just be on the surface level where you're going to get all that nice crunch chocolate. So I'm going to taste the ice cream or gelato first um, and then the Mm. That's really good. I always say it's good though. So problem is I, I tend to go to the store and pick the ones that look good to me. I did pick a couple of weird ones at the Latino market or they look strange to me. So I'm going to try those later too. Um, this one, mm. it's a very dark chocolatey taste. Like a, maybe like a 70% chocolate and then let's try these chunks there there's all these chunks of chocolate on top i assume that's just like the cho chocolate that you'd buy anywhere which is a quality stuff it's a fair trade chocolate they really do their best to be eco-friendly and sustainable 
get all the right sources. And then there's this big chunk came on top. I don't know if you're gonna see that in every container of this Cho Tillamook chocolate. Hmm. That's delicious. It's like really chocolatey. I think what would go awesome on here would be some whipped cream. Do it kind of balance it out. It's like a, it's kind of an intense double chocolate flavor, which is I guess what you would expect from the packaging and the name double dark chocolate. Mm. Now I'm guessing because I have kids, that they probably would think this would be a little bittersweet, maybe a little much for the chocolate. It's definitely like an adult chocolate fla flavor, like the dark. Hmm. But I think with a little whipped cream, I would kind of balance it out a bit. Um, it's really good. So the question is, if you're going to buy this Cho Double Chark Chocolate, are you a real chocolate lover? If you just kind of like chocolate, but you like it mixed with a little vanilla, Neapolitan, something like that, this might be a little intense for you. But if you're out there at the market and you're like, I gotta get something really chocolatey, that's just what my body needs or that's what I'm craving, this is definitely gonna hit the spot for you. It's got that dark, bitter chocolate taste. The gelato, I'd say it's a little less creamy tasting than the normal Tillamook, which is what it's supposed to be as a gelato, being skim milk as the first ingredient. So it's still really smooth, tasty. It's just not quite as creamy as you expect with some of the Tillamook brands. Um, so I'm going to try the, this is also a special batch, meaning I guess it's a limited quantity. I'm going to try the peanut butter one pretty soon here on Ice Cream Meltdown. Um, but please subscribe, leave a comment for me. If you try this one yourself, I'd love to hear what you think of it. So leave that in the comments and tell me what else you want to try. Thanks a lot for subscribing and watching. Um, I hope you enjoy your ice cream and hope to see you next time.